What's up, Lane Gang? It's your boy Jamal. We on our grind. So one day we gonna shine. All right, y'all. We got another Krishan Rock video. Y'all sent me, told me to check out. It's with Summer Walker, Cardi B, and Sexy Red. It's a beat. Get super messy. Y'all sent this to me. Told me to check this video out. That it then got even more beef and more people. It looked like Cardi B and Sexy Red. What's going on? Let's get right to it. Now. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on today, but it is so much drama amongst these ladies here. Yeah, what so happened? Y'all sending me these videos about Krishan Rock and Summer Walker beef. The last video I checked out with Krishan Rock and uh, Summer Walker, she said she ain't going to really, you know, keep going back and forth with Summer Walker. But y'all said they still going back at it. Check it out. So let's go. One more time. We just going to jump right into it. <laughs> So singer Summer Walker basically been beefing with Krishana Rock all day today, all because all she decided day. to go on TikTok and make a video to Krishana Rock's sound, just like other creators, but this one did not go over well with Krishana. We talking about little baby. Yeah. In his restaurant. That's crazy. Put little baby in his restaurant. Nigga, I'm talking about kids. This had people looking at Summer Walker's style and it's like, dang, why are you coming at Krishana's style? Yeah, sideways? it's like, why did you do that though? Why are you coming at her? And then you had the fake baby head hanging like, what happened? Like, what, what made Summer do that? I'm provoked. Summer Walker then defended herself in her Instagram story by posting a photo of Cat Williams with the caption, Take me back to 2006 when Ish was funny and nobody gave an F. She continued on, please do not take my humor too serious. My favorite comedians are Dave Chappelle, Bernie Mac, Richard Pryor, and Cat Williams. They say ish and don't give a F. I know this generation doesn't understand how to actually just laugh and move on, but yeah. When Summer Walker started dating Lennon so, and the Cat, is she trying to be a comedian now? That caused his ex-girlfriend and baby mother Ebony to create beef with Summer Walker. And although Summer Walker moved on, Ebony would still take shots at her unprovoked. To the point that people all agree that this girl just might be obsessed with Summer Walker. And now Ebony is back on her BS when she decided to post a video imitating Summer Walker. And over that video, she added Summer Walker's song. She then followed up on her IG story stating, I'm just joking. Don't take me seriously. I like comedy. Obviously mocking Summer Walker. <laughs> the source of the matter, Christian Rock, decided to chime in to express her frustration. <laughs> the basketballs. The basketballs back there like that. <laughs> oh, people are hilarious. The basketballs got it. What was that? Ba there was many basketballs. Right? Patience with the situation, but letting everyone know that she's deciding to take the high road. Oh, well, y'all, good morning. Have a blessed day. I was here to adjust everything. This is a simple thing. Like, all right, like I'm a, pro I want to be a problem solver. I want to know how to reconcile nope. every situation, even when I get the short end of the stick. How about you do a positive thing instead of mocking somebody? Like, so I didn't comment. I didn't say nothing back. I DM Shorty. I was. It was like some cool shit. I with her. She like it was very. I'm not a grown woman shit. I'm not. Look, y'all, I'm here to really just spread love and, like, say if something do hurt my feelings. Put put more love on top of that shit on God, bro. I'm not on God, bro. Like, um, I was like, if you was real enough, you wanted to post that TikTok. That shit came off offensive. She was like, oh, damn. Like, my bad. Like, you want me to take it down? I said, for sure. You have a big influence, bro. That Walmart shit triggered me. Why am I forgetting that I'm human, bro? Like that lady that recorded me when I was at Walmart. Why you ain't help me, my nigga? Like when I when I responded like that instead of like you know how I used to do spaz. Y'all got the scene of real human inside me, y'all. Like, but like now I fuck with summer. I really do. I just didn't fuck with the impression only because. Come on, y'all. That shit run me wrong a little bit. You feel me? Like this a this a little bit. <laughs> I just feel like uh, us women, we should be more sensitive of other women. Like, bro, I was like, yeah, it's one thing when you were just talking about me. It was cute. The little missing too. Then you added the fake baby with the bent back. Like, yeah. like that was a bit much. Like, you were very insensitive. And then I like that. But you're one of the females that's reaching out in my DM saying, girl, I love you. If you ever need help or support, 
I encourage you to stay positive. Like. So it seems that Summer Walker was not feeling Christian Rock's video response because her response to her IG story was bringing the energy, baby. She stated, sensitive about a TikTok that was viral way before I did it, but you ain't had no sympathy when you f***ing these girls across the ground, f***ing girls in the sink, just for looking at you funny. Let's please tighten up. It was never that serious. Summer Walker continued on, I really be forgetting I'm famous AF. Two million people make a TikTok or say the same joke everyone else said, but I do it, people but her. This was funny. This my uh, baby daddy. Uh, 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 two times said, it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. Fuck. <laughs> now, I do be like that though. It do have, yeah, how you would look confused. And I was like, but you are in a different position, Summer. You are more, you are famous. You know, you're not a regular person, so. You gotta baby's mama, who obsessed with me, you and we're not influence. cool, but it was funny, period, and you don't see me crying. Some things are just harmless, funny jokes. Like, get a grip. Damn, it was not that serious. You asked me to take it down, and I did. Now, let's not drag it. I made a TikTok to a viral sound, just like everybody else. So, YouTuber Tasha K caught a case with rapper Cardi B after she kept creating lies about Cardi B. And even after she was warned, she continued on with a lie. Like, is that you be letting these YouTube bloggers talk mad and you let it, but when they get out of line, it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna take legal action because I'm sick of people. Like, I'm really sick of people, you dumb. I'm gonna sue you for defamation of character because it's like, you know what? I let the play and talk about me, but when you talk about my daughter, Ultimately, yeah, like, what is other people and talking stuff about people's kids? Like the kids ain't getting nothing to do with this. Stay on, stay on the person. <laughs> How you get to the kids? Cardi B won that case, leading Tasha K to have to pay Cardi B four million dollars that she don't have. And even after losing that case, Tasha K still dragged Cardi B and her family members all across social media. But recently, Cardi B got into it with a fan who said hateful words to Cardi B, which led to Cardi B to wish they unalive themselves and went on to say that she had the same plans for herself. Now today, Tasha K got online to let us all know that this actually touched her so much that it moved her to reach out to Cardi B for encouraging words. I said this to her. I said, just in case you want to see, this is it. <laughs> I know the brand looks like I have four million. We do a very good job at that. But we're preparing for when we get the millions. I'm, I'm, I, when I tell you that I am so glad that this happened, I said, who, if you put a in your head, Cardi, who the fuck is going to teach me to be a better person? I said, please stop posting stuff like this. I said, I'm going to, I'm going to pay you. I just can't afford the four million. I don't have it. I know I look like I got it, but I don't have it. And your lawyers can dig and dig and dig and dig until they dig through the earth's crust. Please, we welcome that. I said, believe it or not, too many kids love you to be reading stuff like this. And believe it or not, I said, Cardi, I love you. That was the hardest thing for me to say to her. <laughs> But it's true. I said, for leveling me up mentally and teaching me how to not misuse the gift that God gave me. So given their history, this is a lot to take in. So Cardi B got a line to not only share how she felt that day when she received that DM from Tasha K, but she also got real and vulnerable with everyone by openly sharing that she actually felt touched by it to the point that she was considering forgiving Tasha K so much that she had to consult with her mom for a second opinion and not to get played by letting her heart make decisions for her more than her head. It was just like a wild moment to me. Like last night was like a wild moment to me, but I'm fine now. I finally got my answer. I don't wanna be friends with nobody. I don't wanna key with nobody. I don't wanna nothing. But this topic just gotta end. This has to end. I'm sick of this. This has been going on for so many years. This got to end. I was having a good Wednesday. Getting down. 
and, and, and I seen the, the, the DM earlier that day and I was like, what the fuck? I was confused. I don't know. Like, I just don't want people that like never did good to me, like consume my days. Oh, oh y'all probably, y'all know, but y'all don't really know. When I explode, um, I could get very nasty. I could wish the nastiest things on people. And on top of that, I'm very funny and I'm very witty. So when you get me mad, let me tell you something. If you're having an argument, tag me in because I could, I, I'm good at dragging. I'm good at reading. I could look at you up and down. And I got 10 jokes. But my unfortunately, heart. Unfortunately, Cardi, I'm cursed with the same thing. I got the same ability. That's why if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I'll try not to say nothing at all. Because I see somebody out back, I got like 12, 12, 15, maybe even 20 jokes like up my sleeve. Like, it's nothing to me. It's nothing to me. <laughs> so I already know. But okay, so what's going on with the sexy red beef? Who, who beefing with sexy red? It's very big, and I'm not going to make decisions right away about things. I want to talk to my friends because my friends are looking at me like, bitch, don't you fucking ever. I'm not going to talk to my husband because my husband is calling me. And I'm not going to talk to my fans because I know the chat don't play about me. But I'm going to talk to my mom. I'm going to talk to my mom tomorrow. And I know the other day, I probably had one of those rough days and everything that I said something out of hand is that I feel better now. I feel better. I don't have no bad thoughts. I'm in a better space. I'm happy. Cardi B was opening up. Tasha K was opening up. Baby, the doors were open of the altar, clearly, because Tasha K was spilling more beans, revealing the conversation that she had with Nicki Minaj when she tried to express to Nicki Minaj that she should try to make amends with Cardi B. I truly want to see Nikki and Cardi. I think everybody want to see that. And I've said this to Nikki. I said, I said this to her. She didn't like it. She'll go through bouts when she'll talk to me. She won't talk to me. I don't care because I'm, I'm not starstruck like that. I'm going to tell you the truth. I said, you and Cardi are the same. And she was like, what? <laughs> you're, you're, so it's like you're, y'all, they are truly the same. And they, they have... They have good traits that make people excited, right? They get, they get their, their brands excited, but one who's experienced is not sharing her wisdom with someone who's young and up and coming. And I know, I know that's hard for her because of how the industry tore her down, but Nikki truly has the tools and the, the resources to help pull this young lady up. And even if she helped to pull her up, it's not gonna pull Nikki the fuck down. Didn't I tell y'all it was so much mess today? So we're on our last subject, which is rapper Kaya and Sexy Red. So rapper Sexy Red has so many enemies, like so many people dislike her for her distasteful style, so they claim. And I really don't get it because she really just be living her best life and trying to get money like the rest of us, right? But people claim that it's more to the story and they just not trying to hear that. They want her gone. <laughs> Chicago, well, now people more. are blaming rapper Kaya for the culture of female rappers today, and Sexy Red and rapper Sukiana were amongst the top rappers that they claim were influenced by rapper Kaya. She was not feeling this in the least bit, and she has an online this. platform where she does drag rapper Kaya. Look good. I never heard of rapper Kaya before. Drag sessions going off on people, so you already know she went in. We, these hoes uh, was raised by Trina. Let's get this straight. Let me go on and get this. Up. I'm about tired of y'all comparing me to these hoes. I said my neck, my and my crack. Not these niggas out here, these hoes out here, in these stars. Still stood ten toes down like a queen. Half still wrapped up like the first day. I ain't changed a bit. Okay, it's respect me. It's snatched them and cat back. It's don't trust no fucking nigga. Get your own shit. It's tell that nigga to hit and don't. You wanna fuck these bitches? You wanna fuck these hoes? It ain't eat no niggas and suck no niggas' toes. Y'all hoes couldn't have grown up listening to me because that ain't how the fuck I roll. I done been out here 25 years. Y'all ain't seen no pictures of no videos of me. My phone ain't never been stole. Y'all ain't never seen me with no man, bitch. And I got a fucking hood. Y'all ain't never seen me do shit. Y'all ain't seen no husband, no, no children, no nigga. And no nigga in the industry got no put fucking me. Y'all ain't never seen me twerking. Y'all ain't never seen my 
that hold from the back. It's, it's always queendom and and God is over here. Y'all ain't got on the queen, but I, but I ain't shit. And these hoes grew up listening to me. Ha! And that order queen. Yeah. So this got back to Sexy Red, which led her to respond with just another old washed up hack, hating on a young girl, turned and rich, hating on a baddie, and then you still a mad hater. Oh, so that's it. Okay, 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 okay. I see what's going on. That's it. Um, if y'all enjoy watching this with me, y'all know what to do. Hit the like button for me as well, man. Keep me tuned in. Let me know what else y'all want to see me react to next down in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all next video.